Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Game Pickups. Start things off with, I was able to get E7 Premium Edition, and some of you guys might already know this, but Ease, the E series, is one of my favorite games of all times. And this Collector's Edition, or this Premium Edition, is unbelievable. I'll include a link. Uh, Steph's to Def did an unboxing for this game, and it's a pretty impressive premium edition. Definitely check out the unboxing video when you get the chance. And so yeah, the E series, one of my favorite uh, series of all time. I'm just so grateful that it came out for the PSP. So definitely glad I got that one. Um, now Blockbuster, my local Blockbuster, the Blockbusters were having a buy one get one free sale. And there were a couple games that were, they did not have them uh, the sale was basically all games $14.99 and under. If you bought one, you got one free. So I wasn't able to get all the games that I wanted. Um, they did have included for like the last day of the sale uh, Bayonetta and also Darksiders. And I wasn't able to get those games, which I'm really bummed. Uh, I was hoping to get Bayonet Bayonetta for the 360 and Darksiders for the PS3 because those were both for, there was like a price drop for the last day of the sale. And I wasn't able to get those games, unfortunately. Kind of bummed about that. But I will show you the games that I was able to get. Uh, each of these games I was able to get after the sale. All in all, I paid $5 each for each of these games. Um, I got Dark Void, which I know got hit pretty hard by the reviewers. And a lot of gamers didn't like this. But a friend of mine who's a really into gaming said, you know, give it a chance. It's actually pretty good. So I'm going to give it a chance, see how I like it. Uh, Motor Storm. I did not have uh, the original Motor Storm game. However, let me just tell you that I do have Pacific Rift and I do have Arctic Edge for the PlayStation 2. Arctic Edge is also for the PSP. So I have these two games. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'll get the original Motor Storm. <sighs> Dude, not impressed as much as the Pacific Rift. The game, the presentation is pretty unbelievable, but the controls, I'm really having some issues with the controls for this game. Uh, the music's great, the visuals are great, the actual presentation, like the intro, is pretty, pretty cool. But, to be honest with you guys, if you have a PlayStation 3 and you have a choice to pick between Pacific Rift and the original Motor Storm, definitely get Pacific Rift. So, I'm just saying, i um, kind of bummed that this wasn't a better game, but it's okay. Uh, the other two games I got at Blockbuster was the action RPG uh, Dark Kingdoms Untold Legends. This is a action RPG and uh, not the greatest game in the world, but you know, the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360, they don't have, you know, a million action RPGs. I'm a big fan of action RPGs and, you know, I got this one for pretty cheap, so there you go. I was able to pick up for five bucks and no more heroes for the Nintendo Wii. Um, I was going to wait for No More Heroes come out for the Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3, and I think they're out in Japan right now, but from what I heard, they're not as good as the Wii version, so I ended up just going with the Wii version. This is one of the better uh, Wii games that you can get. No More Heroes, very good game. Okay, let's see what else we got. Got a game pickup from my local Goodwill for three bucks, the RPG Breath of Fire Dragon Qu Quarter. Yeah, Dragon Quarter. I played it. It's okay. Um, Benzo, Benzo's channel, he's really into RPGs. I'll include a link to his channel. Uh, he said, you know, if you have your choice to get a Breath of Fire game, uh, this is probably the one you don't want to get because the other ones are pretty good. I played it. It's okay. Um, definitely want to get into the Dra uh, Breath of Fire games. I think I had the third one. Um, or the second one, but I got this one in interesting art style, and um, I'm, a, I'm a big RPG fan if you don't know by now. Uh, my local game uh, stop had a sale going on. I just run by some of the games I was able to pick up. Uh, Unreal Tournament 3 for the PlayStation 3. This is a Really good first-person shooter. I play this game a lot for the Xbox 360. It's a fantastic first-person shooter, and uh, with really good visuals. Uh, Jack and Daxter, the first one. Actually, I played this first one. I played this one uh, years ago. 
I was in San Francisco at the PlayStation Store. Now, this isn't the PlayStation Store on your PS3. This is an actual building they had in San Francisco where they had dozens of PlayStation 2s set up where you could, you know, play pretty much any game that you wanted to try out. And they had a bunch of... When I went, there was a bunch of PlayStation 1s there as well. This was before the PlayStation 3 was released. And I played Jack and Daxter. I'm like, wow, this game's pretty unbelievable. But I was able to get into it recently. I'm like... Man, you know, Naughty Dog, they really make amazing games. I mean, this game was, in my opinion, it's like, wow, it's almost ahead of its time at how good it was and how sharp it was. You know, a lot of games uh, that are released for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 still aren't as good as the first Jack and Daxter game. So, pretty impressed with that one. I got SOCOM 2 for, like, two bucks. I also got the Jack and Daxter game for two bucks. I also picked up Perfect Dark Zero. Uh, unfortunately, did not have the original cover. But I got the game it was like two bucks, and I got to play. It and uh, man, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to play this game. It's not a very good first-person shooter, in my opinion. Uh, maybe I'm missing something, but I remember when that game was gonna be coming out for the Xbox 360. There's a lot of hype on how that game was gonna, you know, do better than Halo uh, 2, and how it's gonna be the new multiplayer game. And that didn't exactly happen. Um, let's see, what other games? Project Gotham Racing 3. Big fan of Project Gotham Racing 4. I was able to pick this one up for like two or three bucks at GameStop. They had a sale going on, and um, I wasn't sure how good this one was going to be, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. Really impressed so far with the Project Gotham ra uh, Racing games. Solid, solid racing game. Okay, got Rockstar Table Tennis. Got this for a couple bucks. You know, a fun game to waste some time with. And finally, I got Pure. A while back when this game, before it came out, there was a demo, and I love the demo, and I'm really kicking myself that I never got it. I was able to pick it up for like five bucks um, during that sale, and uh, a lot of fun. And, you know, I guess this game was bundled with, um, for a time, it was bundled with a certain or a couple different Xbox 360 systems, so there, there's a lot of, of these copies in the world. I went online, there was, you know, still people playing this game online, but a very, very fun game and uh, really impressive, really impressive. Well, guys, there's my game pickups. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, if you have any of the games in these collections, I'd definitely like to get your thoughts on what you think of these games. I'm really excited and looking forward for the next few months and what's to come. And uh, well, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.